part because we uh, have a committee that's uh, going to be reporting out tomorrow in our public session in Huntsville about international interagency and other considerations. And this is sort of a segue to, uh, to Le Leroy's presentation on ISS. So let me just give you sort of a thumbnail summary, if you will, of the, the key elements and what was important about this and how it relates to uh, both the ISS and SGS uh, discussions. Uh, as you might imagine, uh, international considerations is a big, big part of our deliberations here. And sort of the key questions that we have to ask ourselves are, uh, should international cooperation be expanded for our overall human spaceflight program? Um, are there some valuable roles or extended roles for our international partners today to play in the programs or additional partners in the future? Uh, are there issues that need to be addressed to expand international cooperation? Uh, if possible, what countries should be included in our expanded cooperative in, uh, human spaceflight program? And probably more importantly, relative to how we approach this, what do the international partners uh, think about this topic themselves? Uh, and then finally, from an interagency perspective, we wanted to make sure that as we looked at international cooperation, uh, are there any uh, exigencies, issues relative to uh, other agencies, particularly the Department of Defense and the Intel uh, activities in our national security space arena? And are there any policy issues from the nation uh, that might be considered? Uh, so in trying to address those different factors, uh, our approach was really uh, sort of a qualitative one, if you will. It's hard to try to quantify some of the specifics in, in this arena. Uh, and so basically, we talked to everybody we possibly could. Uh, all of the international space agencies, the uh, ESA, uh, Canadian Space Agency, the Korean Aerospace Research Institute, uh, German Aerospace Council. Uh, we talked to the Russian Space Agency, obviously. And we engaged with everybody we could to talk about and get their deliberate uh, views and comments on this particular topic. Uh, lots of discussions internal with NASA, uh, both in terms of their uh, international activities there and uh, talking to their PA&E folks. And then finally, to ensure that we got the broad interagency and policy perspective, uh, we talked to the Department of Defense, both the uh, OSD, Secretary of Defense Policy Office, and I'll explain that uh, in a second as to why, uh, but the NSSO, the National Security Space Office that resides in the Pentagon, uh, and then the National Security Council to get sort of a White House view on this particular topic. Uh, we also did the literature search, as you might imagine, uh, which included the most recent uh, National uh, Research Council report on rationale and goals for our civil space programs, which had uh, quite, a little con uh, quite a lot of content in it about international cooperation and the value of international cooperation. Uh, we went all the way back to the Aldrich report that sort of kicked off the implementation for exploration uh, back in 2004. And then finally, there was even some international uh, space cooperation aspects in a national security uh, space report uh, done on behalf of Congress uh, earlier last year. So uh, our literature search included everything we possibly could find relative to international cooperation. Uh, sort of the bottom line, if you will, so we don't repeat everything we're going to be di discussing uh, over the next day or so. Uh, the sort of bottom line message, as you might imagine, was extremely positive, uh, but with some concerns on the part of the international partners. Uh, I would say there was strong, unanimous support for greater international cooperation and involvement, both in the in International Space Station program, in exploration, and in the broad category of human spaceflight programs. Uh, I think the nations uh, and the uh, space agencies we talked to uh, all basically unanimously, unanimously said that there's growing uh, political and media interest in space, uh, space exploration and programs, uh, including human uh, spaceflight activities. Uh, each one of them expressed very, very strong concern that uh, their political leaders are looking for uh, payoffs, if you will, particularly in the area of the International Space Station. And so there's very, very strong interest on continuing the space station program beyond uh, 2015. They want to see the benefits, uh, they want to see the payoffs, uh, and that's very, very important to each one of their nations. Uh, their politicians are looking for that return on investment, as, was, uh, uh, as I stated earlier. Uh, strong support for expanded partnership uh, on, with everybody we talked to, taking advantage of the expertise and the capabilities that each country can bring to uh, uh, this big, big, complicated, but very, very important picture. Uh, 
To them, uh, the International Space Station particularly is proof of the value of international cooperation. But to show that value, they are strongly looking for the United States to make a very positive step relative to the future of the International Space Station uh, beyond 2015. Um, I think in the discussions we've had, I think it was almost unanimous, but not everybody, uh, talked about the value of, a, of space exploration to addressing other elements besides uh, uh, the space programs in and of themselves. They were looking at other national priorities, whether it's climate change, environmental, energy issues, if you will. Uh, every nation, every program we talked to saw the value of using the International Space Station as a laboratory platform to help them to address these other greater national priorities. And they saw doing that as a way to continue to sell, my word, sell the program to the leadership in each one of their particular nations. Uh, strong interest in looking at uh, making sure uh, they do the part they can uh, with whatever help we can provide and showing both the public and politicians in each country that there's a connection between exploration like to Mars and things we need to do in space uh, uh, capabilities here on Earth. And uh, finally, uh, very strong interest in looking at using the International Space Station as a way to mature the technologies needed to go back to the moon uh, and go to Mars. So I think uh, that message was sort of unanimous and very, very strong on the part of everybody uh, that we engaged. Uh, when we looked at other agencies, and particularly looking at uh, national security space uh, activities and looking at the National Space Council, uh, I found, uh, since I did most of that research uh, uh, myself, I found a little bit surprising uh, word that the national security space arena seems to be taking the lead in supporting the value of international space cooperation. Uh, that comment was even made by the National Space, uh, excuse me, the National Security Council in the White House. There is very, very strong interest from a poly, uh, policy perspective in the White House to figure out a major policy question of how do we do better and more cooperation internationally uh, in space. And they were surprised but very, very pleased to see that the national security space uh, individuals are taking a very strong line along those li uh, that particular viewpoint. Uh, from an NSS perspective, they see great value in having greater cooperation in space, both uh, internationally uh, from uh, a civil space program standpoint and also sort of military to military cooperation from a national security standpoint with different nations. And so uh, there seems to be no objection, if you will, uh, from the standpoint of greater international cooperation uh, across the board. And then finally, um, just a comment on concerns and what people are concerned about. Uh, ITAR is a major concern. Industrial base con issues are a major concern. Uh, but probably the very strongest message we heard from all of the space agencies and the other nations that we talked to was that they are looking for and hoping that the United States will step forward and show its support for greater international cooperation with a very, wrong, very, very strong message from the top, from the very top. Uh, specifically, they're looking for uh, President Obama uh, to actually state very strongly his indication of support for international cooperation. Uh, some of them actually express an interest in having the, our president talk to their leaders in their particular nations. Uh, but the message, I think, was very, very common there. They are looking for the tone from the top from the United States that international cooperation is something we support and something we will wholeheartedly put interest in for the future. And Sally, that's a, sort of a perspective and considerations there, both interagency and international, and I'll turn it over to Leroy. Thank you. 